everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now recently I've been doing and only posting shorts, but today I decided to post a full video for you guys. I've been getting into some different stationery supplies and art rather than just doing watercolor primarily. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this really cute and aesthetic design for the days of the week. I know that now it's officially summer and some of us have been getting into other different um, hobbies and picking up different types of tips off of many different influencers. And so today I wanted to show you how to do a days of the week, Monday through Sunday, and how to make it look really not, not plain and not just writing it in normal letters, but to make it look and pop up. So I'm gonna put a picture right here and that's what it's gonna look like at the end. So let's begin. All right, so for today, I'm gonna be using printer paper only. I like to use watercolor paper sometimes to get a nice and smooth surface, but today I'm going with nice and affordable supplies um, that most people have at their house. So today I'm going to be using printer paper along with my Crayola Super Tips. Now, if you don't have Crayola Super Tips, that's completely okay. Use any markers that you have, just make sure they're a little bit lighter. So if you have like the normal Crayola washables, um, you go ahead and use like a yellow, um, that may be better. Also, these are um, pretty affordable. Um, you can get a 24 pack, I don't remember how much it is. I got the 100 pack for like 16 something dollars, but um, I'm sure you can find other ones and I will be sure to link them down below. Another alternative that you could possibly use is a highlighter. I know a lot of us have highlighters at our house and so some of those tend to be lighter because they have to go over, of course, black ink, um, which is what we're gonna be using to go over our design today. Um, today, the color that I'm gonna use is probably some type of yellow or really soft pink like this one. I may alternate it between the days like um, a nice and simple pattern, um, but I'll get into that later on. And then once you do that, you also need some type of black marker. So if that is, again, your Crayola markers, you can use that. It doesn't have to be black, but I think black will look nice. Also, if you have any of these Posca pens, I know these are not affordable, but if you have any, you can use this too to go over it. I do have one in black, but today I'm gonna distance from that. Um, also, Sharpies work just fine. I was using Sharpies the other day for my calligraphy and it worked. Um, also, I just went over to grab this marker, which is the Dura Mark Staples pen. Um, just use any black marker that you have. Today I'll be using just my super tips because um, those have a nice point for calligraphy if we're gonna try and do that later on. Of course, you can add a design, but that's all I'm using today, printer paper and my markers. Um, so just two supplies that you need. Um, so let's begin. All right, so now I'm gonna section my paper off into seven um, sections. I don't know, I, I'm gonna make it fit on this one sheet of printer paper. If you have more and you wanna make them bigger, go for it, but I'm gonna try and fit it onto just one sheet of paper with this protractor. Again, you just use a ruler or um, anything that you really do have um, that could be used to draw straight lines and measure. So I'm gonna try and get nice measurements. You never know how it's gonna turn out. Um, and for this step, all you're gonna need really is a pencil and a protractor. So what I'm gonna do is since mine isn't big, it's pretty small, I'm gonna measure this paper in inches. I believe, yeah, this is inches. So we're gonna start, let's see, this is about six. I mean, we can start at the bottom, I think. Starting from the bottom is probably the easiest. Let me move this up for you guys. Then you can see the bottom of our paper, which is right about here. So, how I'm gonna do this is, and I'm gonna zoom out just a bit. Sorry if you see these, this is the tripod that I'm using. Um, but here I'm gonna just measure, and you can see that up until about here, it's six. And so I'm gonna use my hand to go and see. All right, so it's about um, about 11 inches. So we're gonna zoom back in and I'm going to, and I'm using multiple papers just so I don't get my, my desk dirty. Crayolas don't bleed through, but just in case, cause I have a white desk, so that can be tough sometimes. 
All right, so Siri said 11 divided by seven is about 1.5714, something like that. So we're gonna go with 1.5 or 1.6, okay? So how I'm gonna do this is I'm going to measure 1.6 all the way up. Now I can't show you all the way from the bottom. Um, but let me see if I can actually zoom out just a tad bit. There you go, okay. I'll show you from the bottom. So. We're gonna go 1.6 all the way up, so. All right, so I just went through the editing and I noticed that during the part where I was doing all the measuring, it was a complete mess. So I'm not gonna be showing you me measuring it. Honestly, I ended up freehanding most of it. So use whatever you have, like a protractor or roller. Um, as I said, I really did not use it because it was a complete mess with the 1.6 measurement so um do your own measurements if you feel like it um but i would most recommend i would mostly recommend freehanding it also cutting so you're gonna have to cut out after everything your measurements that you split it up into um so the seven or eight parts i ended up having eight as you'll see later on but you're gonna want to cut everything up into those seven parts I'm deleting that footage because it, again, was just horrifying to look at. You don't want to sit here and watch me cut it fast forwarding. Um, and so I didn't cut the neatest. It was not neat cutting at all. And that's okay. It gave it that nice and messy look. All right, so I muted the talking that I had here because I just wanted to let you know that I ended up having eight scraps because of how my cutting took a wrong turn. So I decided to improvise and add days of the week as one of them as you're seeing here. If you only have seven, don't add this. Just skip this part completely. If you have nine, um, you can add a quick decoration in some of them um, or even just recycle that scrap. But um, this is why you see me here writing days of the week in different letters. Um, here I decided to do days in a capital and then lowercase, just like traditional. And then of in all capital letters. And then the, I did all lowercase. And then week, I did traditional letters. So week as in how you would normally write week in school. All right, so once we've done that, now I'm going to take it, take my black super tip marker. Um, again, if you don't have black, use the different suggestions that I stated. But now I'm going to write in cursive over this. and I'm using all lowercase cursive. Now this has a little bit of like a greenish tint to it, this um, super tip, and that's okay. Uh, later on I might find a replacement, but honestly, um, for me, I don't, I don't find it too much of a, a big, deal, big deal if it is different colored. And there we have our first one days of the week. Now you can add a little bit of color if you do have it. I'm doing this just to be a little bit extra. Um, again, you don't have to do this and I'm just gonna add like little stars around it. So no need for this at all. I'm literally adding plus signs. So if you don't have anything to use for this part, that's okay. If you wanna use your yellow again, that's completely good. Um, honestly, I'm just doing this again, as I said, to be extra. Adding a little star now, making it look messy, because that's kind of the style that I'm going for, is like a messy, scribbly look. And if that's not what you like, if you like yours to be nice and crisp and clean, that's also amazing too, but I kind of like how this looks. All right, so now I'm gonna do Monday. I'm gonna show you how to do two of the days of the week, and I'm gonna fast forward because it's gonna get very, very repetitive. But this is how you do the days of the week. Now I'm grabbing a different, nice light pink color. And I'm gonna write here, I'm gonna have to hold these scraps down. I'm gonna write Monday. Let's get that in the camera. So I'm gonna write Monday in this nice soft color. And you can make this as spread out as you want because the scraps are pretty big. So. Um, if you want at the end, I might have a little bit of extra space to trim it. You don't have to make it, like I know sometimes 
you end up having a ton of extra space and then you make your letters like super spaced out at the end. Um, that will never look good. So go ahead and just um, space it out as much as you want and then cut the extra excess if you don't like it. And now we're gonna go onto the cursive part of Monday, just like the last part. Um, just going over it in our cursive lettering. You don't have to do calligraphy. You can, I mean, later if you wanna, like if you have a brush pen, amazing, I don't. Sorry yet. for all the pop-ins. This will be the last one. But um, while I was doing it, I decided I didn't need to show you two of them uh, Monday and Tuesday because I think you guys got the gist of it after the days of the week and the Monday one and I didn't wanna waste any of your time. So again, you just keep going until you finish all of them. All right, so these are all of them lined up. We started with our days of the week, then we went Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with the little <laughs> orange, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So as you can see, I did different colors for each of them. Um, Monday and Tuesday, we started off with the black, and then we went with the blue, the Posca pen, and then another Posca, because those felt good. And then at the end, I kind of realized using other colored markers over it worked amazingly well i wish i kind of did that for the rest um this one is really popping out that tuesday right there but that's okay all together it looks pretty pretty good thanks to the help of the super tips and the posca pens over here and really just being free with my art and not thinking too much about how it's going to turn out as you can see i mean look how long saturday saturday is right like that's like popping out, but that's okay. Um, I think it looks really good and I'm definitely gonna put this in to use um, later on. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you tried to nail down this design and put it somewhere in your house or have it to plan your upcoming days of the week. I hope you subscribe to this channel and click the like button for this video. Make sure you share this video with anybody who you think might be interested in this content. And lastly, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below. I love hearing from your guys, your different tips and suggestions that you do have for my channel. Have a great day. Bye.